So, you guys like my new hairstyle, or at least how it was in yesterday's video. May I ask why? Because now it's kind of getting to the stage where enough people are saying it for me to actually start to believe it. And I don't want to believe it. Why would anyone think that the Pauly D look would suit me? Or if I actually do take it on, the Pauly Deej look. Yeah. No, that will mean that I turn into a Guido. Pretty much the worst life decision ever made. So I'm going to ask once again in the comments down below, please be honest and say if you actually liked it, because... I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. If I do, it will only be in, like, jokey circumstances. I'm not actually going to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. But do you actually like my hair like that? Anyway, the main point of today's video. Is the youth of today growing up too fast? I only asked because today on the bus stop, there is this girl, I guess she was, like, 13 or 14 years old, but she had coffee with her. She's going to school, you don't need coffee. Plus, you're, like, a tween, you know? You don't need coffee! Certainly at that time in the morning, anyway. I mean, sure, everyone, you know... They need a little pick-me-up in the morning, but if you're that young of a teenager, you don't need coffee. In my personal opinion, at least. And of course, this opinion might be slightly biased, seeing as I don't actually like hot coffee. I'm a frappuccino kind of guy. Yeah, if you ever meet me in person and we're near a Starbucks, if you, you know, just so happen to, just on, on a whim, decide to buy me a caramel coffee frappuccino with no whipped cream, you and I are going to be friends, buddy. Oh yeah. So, yeah, this argument isn't exactly one that's going away in like today's society. You know, with so many teenagers in the UK getting pregnant at like 15 or even younger, children starting to drink from an earlier age and binge drinking at that, are we just letting them grow up too quickly? You know, like are we exposing them to too much adult stuff at such a young stage in their life where they're so, like, they're still so impressionable? I mean, sure, when I was that age, there were still a few rambunctious types, but compared to like my age group then to how it is now, Way worse. Way worse. I'm just wondering if it's starting to cut on on in, you know, other countries. If other, you know, kids these age are starting to, you know, go off the rails a little bit. You know, because like TV, film, music, they just seem to glamorise it. And, you know, just they, like, rebellious is cool. It's like, it's, it's really not. I mean, back then I used to look at the rebels and just think, you're a dickhead. Like, five or six years later, I still think, you're a dickhead. But what came first? The chicken or the dickhead? get that reference then you know give me a high five right now oh yeah yeah snap oh yeah we're friends if you have to google that though then well you took the time to google it because you know you, you might have wanted to high five me so you know, we're, we're, basically we're all friends okay do you agree with me on these things or do you disagree leave a comment down below and you know let me know you know we might have a discussion this might even lead on to another video another time in a kind of Dan Brown pogo bat style. Please leave a comment down below or make a video response. I'm really interested to hear what you say actually because I'm sure there are gonna be a few people that disagree with me. But, you know, as I said, I, I wanna get discussion going. So yeah, let's prove the community is still alive. Which it still is, doesn't need proving. But you know, just do it. And once again, until tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow.